Saturn Run by John Sanford and Katine. John Sanford's the author and uh, Katine's the, I guess, science uh, advisor, astronomy, space, that kind of stuff. Um, it's a sci-fi novel, standalone. Uh, it says copyright 2015, so it's, it's kind of old, you know, years old. And um, I picked this up at a value village probably three, four years ago. It has a really cool cover. Uh, and you can see what looks like Earth or maybe Saturn. And uh, you see two ships, one zooming ahead in the top right, and then another one in the foreground. So one looks speedy and the other one looks kind of bulky. And there's no title on it. Um, there's uh, some kind of lens flare. So I really was took by the cover itself. And I opened it up and I saw Saturn run on the second page. So I got it. You can always tell a book is good, first of all, in a thrift store, if you open it up and smell the pages. If the pages are yellow, that's not a good sign. And if it smells funky, I don't usually get it. So anyway, this uh, novel, is uh, was pretty good. Um, it's set like in twenty in the twenty sixties, and um, basically the premise of it is there's a, one of the lead characters. His name is Darlington, and he's he's working at a university in the states. He finds evidence of an alien starship uh, around Saturn. And this creates a space race between the Americans and the Chinese. So both countries are trying to get to this uh, alien destination and figure out what's there. And so, you know, eventually they each build a ship and they're off into space trying to get there. Um, there's a bunch of cool characters. There's Darlington who's uh, working as a science, uh, like a, assistant type um there's this uh woman uh what's her name uh, there's there's a woman named becca she's a like a power engineering expert who's hired to power the ship of course there's involved uh the american presidential um you know, people like cabinet, whatever you want to call them, who are involved. And there's this dude named Crow who's kind of the president's uh, eyes and ears uh, eventually on the ship. So, yeah, it was a pretty fun novel. Um, so, before going into any spoilers, um, the only kind of um, sample I have is The Expanse, which is a nine novel epic with space travel between planets and the outer belt already defined, but this is like before that kind of development. There's plans to go to Mars. So people are just on earth and in space. So like orbiting earth. So <clears throat> this is a little different, but that was my only comparison. So compared to that, um, yeah, it's kind of got its own vibe. There's the humor that's kind of there in both uh, works. And so, yeah, I like that. It kind of kept things light. Um, the alien destination was cool, how they made that work. Initially, I was thinking, hmm, this is kind of, a, I feel like I've, read this before or seen this before definitely not read it but probably seen it before but it worked so yeah i think it would be a good read um i think i would read it again so yeah it was fun so now uh, on to spoilers so basically when they get to the 
the alien destination, they find uh, what ends up being a depot of sorts. It's like an alien depot that's been around for 20,000 years, established by some other civilization way back. They interact with a artificial intelligence computer type thing. And uh, the Americans get there first. They take the technology for themselves. When, when the Chinese find out, they're upset. So eventually there ends up being uh, a clash, like an actual physical confrontation aboard the American ship. And it gets resolved uh, pretty pretty well, I think, as far as the story goes. So kind of the build up to that was there from the beginning and the payoff was pretty cool. I think it worked out pretty well. Um, obviously, I believe Sanford's an American writer. So, you know, as far as the way the story's presented, it's, you know, the Americans end up getting the upper hand. Um, so whatever, that's just a plot point, right? But Darlington's the main character. It, it didn't really feel like there was a super main character. There was an ensemble cast uh, from Crow, who was a military guy, Darlington, and ship captain, Fan Castro, and Becca. So I don't know. I think, I think it was pretty cool. I would definitely read it again. And yeah, I guess. That is Saturn Run by John Sanford and Katine.